channel it's your girl Kaylee here thank you all so much for clicking on today's video today you guys we are going to be decorating the office space and it already looks so good with nothing in it right as you guys saw in the finale episode but now we're just gonna add a few little simple curated cute obviously it has to be cute pieces to the room to just make it shine even more first things first we have to go ahead and put the curtains up in this room because we've been exposed for a few weeks in here now since I took off the peel and I'm ready to get a little bit more privacy. So my mom actually custom cut some curtains for this room and I am so thankful. So I believe it was in the, the second episode of Office Makeover, I showed you guys curtains that I got from Walmart and I put them up against the window and they were a little bit too long. So my mom basically just cut them, trimmed them, shaped them for the window. So we're gonna put these up now. You guys, these curtains are really, really nice. They come with two panels and they're only $9.97 at walmart.com. I'm gonna have it linked below. are up and they are looking bad let's go ahead and address one of the elephants in the room because I feel like there's two in here right now one being the desk right behind me we did go ahead and bring it in because this week it has been so rainy so gross outside and with it being an older piece of furniture we didn't want it to be exposed a lot to like moisture and the elements even though it would be covered in the carport so we brought it in here and it's been chilling out but we still have to place it exactly how we want it but this is what it's looking like right now in the space and i really do like it i personally like how there's still room over here on this side it's probably hard to tell on camera but there's a good amount of room still over here for us to put the light which is the other elephant in the room while I was putting up the curtains, you guys might have noticed a new light fixture in the room and that's something that we're gonna be DIYing and I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, I'm thinking the light will go right over here, move the desk over a little bit, you know, out of the way of the doors and whatnot. And as you guys can see, there's still like a good amount of clearance, which is great. Like everything's working out so perfectly. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, still gonna add the drawers back in there. And I also need to touch up a few of the legs that I didn't get to do yet. But y'all, what we're getting ready to work on right now involves this light fixture right here behind me. We are going to DIY it. Let me give you an up close look. So this light fixture actually came from my mom's. Again, I'm gonna have her Instagram link. So if you guys are looking for something unique, custom, vintage, antique, all of that, you know, you can reach out to her and she'll see if she has something like for you or something that you're looking for. But yeah, she had this lamp and when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness. Like the crystal matches the doorknobs and the light, even like the brass and like all these fun details kind of go along with what's happening with the desk and how intricate it is. And then down here at the base, it has some really pretty details. I just think this lamp is so stunning. And here's what the shade looks like. The shape of this lamp is like the shade is stunning. And instead of getting a new lamp shade, I'm actually going to be trying to do a DIY on it really quick with you guys. I'm not really vibing with the colors. This one right here and the beading, it's a no. It's a no 
for me. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, take the fabric off, cause the light when it's turned on is so dark, y'all look. It's, it's not giving any light. <laughs> so for the light, I bought new fabric from Joanne today. And I want to cover the lampshade, like create a custom lampshade basically, using this really pretty black fabric. A black lampshade on this light will look really, really good. So that's what we're gonna be trying. Let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, y'all, hey, it's another day. And um, <laughs> some of you guys may or may not caught the live last night or maybe watch the replay where, you know, we were trying to get the lamp together, but you guys saw footage of us removing it. Now, a lot of you guys really liked it like this, just bare, naked, but we have decided to cover it. We're gonna cover it, y'all, like, but I did listen to you guys' advice. So, we're not going to do the fabric that I showed you guys in the live and the fabric that I showed you guys in this video, I think. So, yeah, this is the old fabric right here. And let me go ahead and show you guys the new fabric. So, like I said, I went to Joanne's and picked up this fabric. It's very slinky, as you can tell. And it's also really beautiful. Y'all, I really want the lamp shade to be black. So I think this is gonna work out great. Me and Marcus are gonna take a stab at it. And my mom gave me some really, really great tips on how to execute this. So I'm gonna try to do it. And yeah, but I think before we start working on this, we're gonna go ahead and bring the cushion in because we've had it for a while. But we just haven't put it up and in the space. So if you guys don't know, my mom helped not even help. My mom made the cushion, okay? She did that. She she did it. And I've had it for a while. I'm gonna like insert some clips right now of the process that she took to make it. And then we are going to put it up in here. So right now we just have pillows because Marcia likes to come hang out in here and you know, as you guys can see. But I'm so excited to get the cushion on. So let's do it. Okay, you guys, here's what the cushion looks like. So pretty. It's kind of hard to see the lighting. But it's stunning. It's so cute. First sit test. Oh, wow. It's very plush. Thick. I love it. It's really, really nice. Come sit down with me. Oh. oh. <laughs> So this is our pattern for the top portion of the light. And we're basically just gonna cut this out. We're gonna use this as a template to cut out our new fabric. So let's get started. Okay, 
take three. <laughs> So for take three, Marcus was thinking we just cut out a big rectangle so that way we wouldn't run out of fabric and hopefully it wouldn't buckle because it's more than enough to wrap around the whole lamp that everything should be good. And I agree, like let's try it. But unfortunately with this method, I don't know, it just did not work. The fabric was still buckling and looking a little crazy. So we yeah, ended up having to start happen. over again. <sighs> All right, new plan, y'all. We're not giving up yet. So, we realized, I mean, I knew this already, that the old pattern had a seam in it. So what we're thinking is that originally it was two separate pieces. So we need to make our pattern two separate pieces because we tried to do this really big piece and like form it and wrap it around the lamp. That did not work, it bunched up and it, had wrinkles and stuff so I think to get the smoothest effect we're gonna have to cut our pattern in half and then make it cut it out twice as big so that's what we're doing right now and we hope it works Okay y'all, so I'm happy to report that this method actually worked. Um, unfortunately though, the clip of us putting the first piece on corrupted for whatever reason. So you guys will see us putting the second piece on, but right now I was trying to just go ahead and see how much light was shining through the fabric and it looked really pretty. And then you guys, I also decided that I no longer wanted that little bottom piece on. So Marcus took his, um, oscillating tool I think it's called and he cut that off for me so this is where we are now before we start putting on that second piece and we're just going around hot gluing it at the top and then pulling it as tight as we can around the bottom piece Okay y'all, so this is what the lamp is looking like after what, five or six tries later. There are some little gaps right here. You can see that. So I'm thinking what I'll do is from the old, from the old template, there were these little strips of ribbon going down each of the like little pieces. But instead of doing it on each little piece, I'm just gonna do it right here where this seam is. We tried putting glue on it and it looked terrible. So we're thinking that this will be the like best option to cover up the seam. Yeah, y'all gotta let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Right, next we can bring in the drawers. 
So now that the chair is all set up and looking cute, it's time to go ahead and add their drawers. The unfortunate fact about the drawers is that the two bottom ones, I think they've swollen a little bit because they do not want to fit into the two little pockets here. So you will see that throughout the video. I'm hoping and praying that things get better as time goes along now that they're inside of the house because they were outside for a while. But yeah, hopefully they'll get better. If not, Marcus was saying we can just sand it down to make it fit. But anywho, now we're going ahead and applying these knobs. You guys were blowing up my comments about these knobs. And I agree, y'all. They look so, 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 so good. And yeah, Marcus is just switching those out now. So one thing that we knew we wanted to add in this room were our diplomas. So... Here's my diploma right here, and then Marcus has his right here. And so I got these frames from Hobby Lobby. Love the coloring that they have on them, like that walnutty color. Super duper cute. So for Marcus's um, diploma, he'll actually be able to use a mat to go around it. But because my diploma for my master's, is way too big i don't think i'll be able to have a mat around mine but that's fine so we're about to go ahead and pop these in there and then hang them on up turned out and they're finally framed like how they should be chef's kiss And now for everybody's favorite part, it's time to decorate. So we moved all the big pieces in and we got all the things on the wall. So now it's time to manipulate all of our little smaller decorative pieces. So I'm starting out by going ahead and styling the built-in shelves over here, adding a few little elements and a whole lot of books. So y'all be sure to let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. And then after I finish styling this area, I'm going to to set up the desk really quickly, add some pillows to the, um, the front bench, and then it'll be time, you guys, for the final reveal. i 
And now it's time for the final reveal. But first, let's remember what this office looked like before we began renovations. Okay, you guys, so that brings us just about to the end of today's video. The office makeover is complete-ish. <laughs> um, there are a few more things I wanna get done and then also a few things that you guys can, you know, chime down in the comments and give me your feedback on. I'm completely obs obsessed with the shelving and like how the whole styling of that came out. Originally, I was like, okay, I want to do neutrals only, but I actually like some of the books, how they have like red and blue because it ties in the colors, like the classic colors that are in our degrees over here in the wall. So I think that came out great, even though it's not all neutral tone. We have blue, we have red. And then I love this vignette over here. I think it looks really, really good really really good okay so when it comes to the lamp you guys um don't get too close like just don't don't look at it too hard because it's not perfect it has quite a few imperfections actually which was to be expected with two novices working on something as intricate as this lamp is, right? It's not just a simple shade. So um, my mom did offer to help me with it uh, next week, but because I was trying to get this video done, I was like, I just need to hurry up and like do it really quick. So um, we probably will end up redoing it, to be very honest with you, because I want it to be right. It deserves to be right cause, because it's so pretty. So because we are probably gonna end up redoing it, do you guys like the black now? I know that when I went live, a lot of you guys were saying like black is like too modern for the room. And I think the black actually looks good, especially at night, y'all. Last night when we were like finishing up small little details, I was like, oh my gosh, the black is a vibe when the big light is out. It looks so cute and like so moody in here. But I, I, I don't know but i think now that i added some black accents and you know the chandelier obviously has black too your eye kind of it kind of makes sense you know in the background back there that it stands out in that way because we have some black accents at the very top of the bookcase so i feel like the flow is good if we are going to leave it black and we feel like what really sets this room off is the chair the chair is stunning and it deserves a closer up look. Like, so if you guys remember in the last episode, my mom and I, all we had did was pin the back. So she actually sewed all of this, you guys. She sewed all of this by hand. So the seam is so sleek now. Oh my gosh, it's actually perfect. Like, look at this, y'all. She did so good. I mean, come on, you cannot tell me that this chair like does not look good. It's probably my favorite thing in the whole room. Also, I need to go through and scotch guard 
the um, cushion and the chair. I just haven't bought any of that yet. Okay, another thing that I'm thinking about changing, which is crazy to me, is the curtains. As pretty as the curtains are, I feel like I probably should change the coloring of them because when the light hits them, they are looking a lot more peach than I would want for them to look. So I'm thinking <laughs> about either bleaching them or dyeing them. So you guys know they have like the writ dye, you can do different colors. And then, you know, if I bleach them, I think they will look really good in white. And I do think I also need to get more pillows for the like little cushion over there, the bench cushion. So I just threw some pillows up there that I already had, but it would be nice to get like a lumbar pillow. And, hmm. Or maybe since we have so much leftover fabric, I could potentially make some pillow covers out of the leftover fabric. I feel like that'll look really good too. Just keep it nice and clean because the pillows we have up there are gray. Okay, and last final thing that you guys can chime in about that I'm kind of like thinking about changing is the rug in here. So in the final, there was not a rug, but all throughout the video, like while we've been working on this room, the rug was in here. So, um, I like the room without the rug in it. I feel like the rug is one, the wrong size, and two, I don't know if I'm obsessed with the color, or maybe it's just clashing with the curtains, because something about that, it was just throwing me off. So I think, um, if you've watched the live, you guys know that I told you my mom suggested that we just do a runner. And so because from wall to wall it's 10 feet, I think an eight foot runner would be perfect. Just, you know, as a little landing pad for your feet. That way the floors can still shine and look super pretty. Speaking of floors, I do need to get something to go under Marcus's chair in here so that the floors don't get scuffed up from moving back and forth on the swivel chair. And yeah, so those are all the things. Curtains, rug, lampshade, yeah. I think those are all the things that I'm thinking about switching out. Everything else is like actually so perfect. And then this isn't something that I'm definitely going to do, but there is a big empty space here. And I do actually like how empty it is. But if I were to put something there, I found the perfect thing, you guys. Our old, not even our old, but we have blueprints. Um, these blueprints right here. Uh, it's such a precious thing to have for the original owners of the house who had this house built. So all of the original blueprints are in here. And I want to show you guys real quick. Okay, you guys, so these are when these plans were made up literally in 1955 of my birth month. It has the whole entire like sketch of the land right here, which is really cool. And this right here is the foundation plan. So you can kind of see the whole entire like layout of the house, even down to like the pitch of the roof and the, sh and the gutters and the shingles and stuff. And I think that this one is my favorite page because even in the room we're in now, you can see the plants that were made up for the bay window. And then this is in the living room. These are the doors in the dining room. I don't know where this door is. I think, and this is the front door over here, which was not here when I moved in. So it must have been gotten rid of a long time ago. And then all like the hallway doors and stuff bathroom door that was there, closet doors, and just like all the windows. This is so cool to me. And then you can see like the kitchen plan that they had. I mean, I just love this so much. Carport, dining, living. This was labeled as the den where we are right now. Bathroom, I mean like this is just so cool. And this before was just a terrace, it was not a sunroom. So that's something that the owners did later on. So I also really like this one too because you can clearly see like how they designed the front of the house. And I just love the way this looks, you know, the bay windows where I'm standing right now in the office and just like, everything like all of the just everything they did here is all laid out and these blueprints are in a really good condition now let's say I did pick that one to like go up here I don't know if I want it to be blue so I could get it copied in a different color 
and maybe do like a gray background or just like a plain black and white background or something but that can go here and I could possibly blow it up and put it in a really pretty frame for example I really like these frames that we got from Hobby Lobby the walnut color it's just so beautiful on these so something like that that would pull in the wood tones from the desk up here would be cool or I could just leave it so I'm just giving you guys this is the only thing I feel like I would put right here and here we are in this room, the Roman brick right here. And then this um, built-in thing right here. And then brick on the other side, which is really cool. I mean, like, when I tell you everything is in here, it's in here. Shelving in the den. So yeah, I love these plans so much. Your fact that we have these plans and they actually are printed on this blue paper is, it's really, really special. I don't know if they do it like this anymore, but it feels very unique and beautiful. Something that we want to preserve. So yeah, y'all let me know if you think I should pop that up there or somewhere else in the house. We will be working. Our next big, big project is the entryway. So this also could be another like artwork that we could hang up out there instead. We want to put it somewhere. We just haven't found the perfect place. I think that's everything that I wanted to like discuss, like final thoughts of the room, but I'll give you guys like little updates as time goes along of how like the room evolves. And I do feel like this has been the hardest room to style and decorate for whatever reason, but I, I love it. And I hope you guys too leave all your comments down below. And thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this whole entire office series. If you missed any part, I will have it linked down below, but you can also find all the videos on my channel so thank you guys again for watching and goodbye for now from the office bye guys